hi everybody this is city readings and hi scorpio let's see what messages are going to show up for you in case this reading resonates there will be a link in the description box to the extended in the extended we will see how's your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of lights love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it'll be linked below for you Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Also, towards the end of the reading, I will be giving you your guided message. So stick around until the end for that. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. What's up, Scorpio? trying to let go of a friendship, of a connection where there was friendship. Trying to work on your money, your goals, your business. Oh, <clears throat> there is a choice. I feel like you are into somebody, Scorpio okay there's a choice that you're making we will see when we clarify five of cups be careful of that choice though be careful four of wands balance stability you want that don't you scorpio you, you need to be careful you need to be careful of somebody you're connecting with, okay? Somebody who may be coming into your life. King of Pentacles reverse, Five of Swords, your challenge. Five of Swords, games, mind games. Somebody is not who you think they are. For some of you, you've been through this or you may go through this. Ace of Cups overall energy with a chariot. So the thing here is that you are headed towards a new beginning, a new start. Very much ready for this change. But there's almost like, you know what? I'm getting a picture of an anchor. You're trying to move forward, but there's an anchor. Okay? It's, it's, it's not letting you do that because that anchor is the past or some energy from the past for you. Okay, that you may need to work on releasing because it won't really allow you to move forward. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new start is what I'm really getting for you. Okay. Someone you're connected with, Queen of Wands, they find you very desirable. Like they find you very, very attractive. Let's see that. What's the five of pentacles to the three of cups? Some of you have had a fake friend, okay? Um, see, with that strength card, you're definitely trying to avoid somebody here. And it's like you're holding on to your inner strength card. Some of you have been facing problems with your finances. Like, things have not really been looking good for you financially. Or it's just that you're keeping it to yourself. Your energy right now is a little bit isolated. Um, trying to keep things to yourself. Okay. Especially with that Five of Cups energy. Show me the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Scorpio, the way y'all are thinking, it's like, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be in a situation that is stable. I don't want to go into something that feels like I'm wasting my time. And you just don't want to do it. You have stability on your mind. Some of you could be thinking about getting a new home, moving, um... I don't know, getting a new place, you're looking for a new place. There's some something here about a new home here as well that I see for you. 
or you could be thinking about investing money somewhere. I really think, you know, there's long-term stability on your mind, whether that be about a relationship, whether that be about your money. But it's like you've got choices to make with the two of pentacles. Got choices to make. What's that king of pentacles in the reverse? Actually, I'm going to have a look at it later on. Show me the lovers. What is that about? Uh, I heard too fast, too soon. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Mm. The thing here is that we did see the Five of Pentacles here as well. Scorpio, somebody I see you connecting with. There's so much passion, love between you two. More passion than anything, first of all. But it seems a little bit chaotic. So I would suggest you don't make a hasty decision when it comes to love. Whether it's a new or a past person, Ace of Swords to the Two of Cups is a good energy. It's like something here in love is coming up for you, but it's happening really fast. And it shouldn't really happen that fast. Even if it doesn't happen fast, there's something you need to keep in mind before you engage in this. Because there's a person coming in with their own energy and their energy is a little bit chaotic. Even though with the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion. There's just something here that needs to be looked upon. Because with the Four of Wands, you won this. Okay. King of Pentacles. Trying to focus on money, goals, business. It has taken you a long while to build what you have or to get to where you are. And you just don't want to sacrifice that for nothing, you know, um, which is good. I do see you at a very stable place, but the energy coming towards you is not, okay? That's why you have five of cups. Be careful of getting disappointed in love, especially. I see you getting a lot of attention from people, six of wands to the Hierophant. You are at a place where you're very desirable, Scorpio. So you need to make a correct decision, especially if there's something happening in your life in regards to a new lover. It's like you need to have a look at why somebody is trying to rush things if they are and, you know, what they genuinely have to offer. Is it something that you know you're willing to build upon or is it just something temporary avoid making temporary decisions or falling for words i'm saying that because i'm seeing king of pentacles reverse it's like some form of stability is being attained and next moment it has it has been taken away from you be very careful also be careful when making money related decisions your challenge is five of swords for the next few days at least the, the yeah look at that the person coming towards you three of pentacles five of swords three of wands six of swords somebody has been wanting to reach out to you but the problem here is that with the five of swords their ways are toxic you know with the three of pentacles and the five of swords it's like somebody's showing up scorpio and they have the right words they have what it takes to get to you and they know it okay um they find you very attractive somebody is really admiring you and able to woo you with their words that's why you're being told to be careful you know it's one of those people who always ask hey what do you look for in a relationship and you tell them and they're exactly you know they become that and then you're like, oh, this is what I really, really wanted. I'm not saying this person could be a false person, but I'm just saying you need to be careful. What's that five of swords for their challenge? Nine of Pentacles. Your challenge here has something to do with, first of all, recognizing your own worth and value as well. Secondly, I feel like your challenge here has something to do with avoiding drama conflict mind games that somebody's playing because it's like we see a shadow here 
Scorpio, somebody is not who they are pretending to be, especially if there's a person in your life who's pretending that they have money or they have it together. Look at this card here. It's, it's like she is wearing that, you know, necklace with a coin, you know, with all those coins. I feel like somebody's lying about who they are, especially with the five of swords, three of pentacles. Another thing I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, is to be very, very careful when making investments, okay? Um, get rich quick schemes. I don't like this energy because it's like somebody's trying to get what they want and they're ready to say whatever it takes to get what they want. And your advice here is to focus on long-term decision making and there are certain things Scorpio you need to cultivate within yourself with that wheel of fortune and the two of wands you want that change so you have to be that change two of wands can also talk about making the right decisions but it's like if you notice this card there are too many people and this person is trying to find their way it's about what you want what's the chariot and the ace of cups because you know it's, it's almost like your energies are very beautiful, very much headed towards the right direction. But something is stopping you, which is something I stated earlier on in the reading. I told you that I was seeing an anchor. So what is that anchor for you? What is stopping you? Show me the chariot and the ace of cups. Seven of pentacles, thinking, investing wisely. Seven of Pentacles is like investing time, money, energy, resources very wisely. Scorpio, the rest I'm going to clarify in the extended. How's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves? Outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit, your future love. What blessings are coming your way? What challenges? What can you expect in general? Do have a look at the extended link below. Also have a look at your soulmate reading link below in the description box for you. Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Healing chaos. Be patient with yourself, adventures, taking risks. Some of you need to take calculated risks, adventure. Go do something new. It's time to step outside your comfort zone. Birds are also messengers. Uh, and we see butterflies in this card with the healing chaos. I feel like something is in the making here for you. This card is seeming terrifying yet beautiful. So the change here that is coming it may happen very quickly, but, you know, I feel like the chaos part of it is that something may be taken away from you so that you're blessed with new experiences. That is where the adventure card comes in. Interesting. That's about it, Scorpio. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link in the description box below if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.